What's up guys, this is Ray. Today we'll be talking about the 2019 Japanese crime thriller Blind Witness, directed by Mori Junichiro and starring Yoshi Okariho and Takasugi Mahiro. Uh, but before we dive into this review, if you guys are new to Ega Man Ray, I upload reviews and discussions of Japanese movies every chance I get. So if you guys are new to this channel and you dig the content, definitely would appreciate a like. Uh, and you know, if you guys can check out any of the other videos in this channel and also, of course, subscribe. So Blind Witness, it is a remake of the 2011 South Korean thriller Blind. And I absolutely loved Blind. Even to this date, it's one of my favorite favorite Korean thrillers. I still, you know, it, it was only released in 2011, but it's still really damn good uh, by today's standards. So definitely check it out. It's definitely a recommendation for me. So if you guys have seen the original Korean version, this movie, Blind Witness, pretty much follows the original story beat for beat. I mean, you have a few changes here and there, but for the most part, the general development, the general path of the story is pretty much the same. So the story of Blind Witness, it's about this young woman by the name of Natsume who's played by Yoshioka Riho and she just graduated from the police academy. She's on her way to becoming a full-fledged police officer. One night she picks up her little brother uh, who's up to no good, uh, at least that's to her interpretation. She, he's kind of a delinquent and while arguing on the car ride home she gets into an accident which results in not only the loss of her younger brother's life but also loss of her vision. So fast forward a few years later, she still feels very guilty. She still carries the bur burden of the, of the death of her younger brother. So she spends most of her day just in her room, not really interacting with anyone much. And one night uh, while walking with her guide dog, she stumbles upon this car. You know, she can't see what's going on, but she can hear inside. She can hear the screams of a young girl pleading for help from inside the car. But before she could really do anything, the car drives off. So she tries to report to the police station, but because they can't really hold her testimony uh, you know, in high credibility, they kind of disregard her case. But then eventually she finds uh, a young skater dude by the name of Haruma, who's played by Takasugi Mahiro, and he appears to be the only witness to this car. So they dive deeper and deeper into this case, into this murder mystery, and more and more so their lives become increasingly in danger. So that's the basic story of Blind Witness. Uh, as you guys can tell, it sounds very similar to the Korean version, but when it comes to the positives of Blind Witness, you know, as a thriller, this movie is still really good. You know, I don't think, I think there's still a few surprises to make this remake worthwhile watching you know uh, but in the, in the in, when talking about the performances that are featured here I think both of the main actors did a great job uh, Yoshioka Riho did really well in kind of not she doesn't you don't really feel like she's trying to reinterpret Kim han original character but I think she makes the character her own so yes I think Yoshioka's performance is damn well good and you know I kind of like the, the the chemistry between her character and Takasugi's character uh, Haruma of a little bit better than the relationship between the original two Korean leads. I know it feels like you get to spend a little more time with these two characters and you get to see them interact with uh, each other a little more so I feel like the chemistry between the two characters was much stronger here in the Japanese version. We also have a police officer who aids the two leads played by Taguchi Tomorrow who I generally like watching movies if you guys have seen uh, other movies like the, the Gods live action movies and Tatsuo the Iron Man you might recognize Taguchi Tomorrow you know he's a great actor and I think he does really well as a very likable police officer who just wants to do what's right he's on he's about to retire but he get he feels like before he can fully commit to retiring he has to solve this case uh and make sure all all loose ends are tied up and while i mentioned that the general flow of the story is pretty much beat for beat like the korean version they uh i did hint that they did uh add a few more surprises namely kind of like the mo of the of the killer like the way he goes about and does his killings and also the reason why he does it is a bit different from what uh, I remember the Korean version have. I don't remember, it's been a few years since I've seen it, but I don't remember the specific details in the killer's MO uh, being entirely like the way the Japanese movie uh, showed it. I didn't think it was pretty good the way it was wrapped up and displayed in this movie. And as a thriller, it definitely lived up to the name of its genre and it had its, its suspenseful moments, which were genuinely suspenseful. And the level of violence, there was a pretty good amount of grotesque violence and gore more so than what I remember the Korean version of. I don't remember much gore, blood, and violence featured in the original story, but there was 
quite a, f a big amount in this movie, it's especially if you go further and further into the story and deeper into uh, the identity of the killer and what he's up to and his MO and just the results of his uh, killings, it gets pretty dark. No, I also dug the theme song. It's called Yudadudu by Muna. Uh, I, after watching this movie, I found myself uh, checking out on Spotify and having it a few, repeat a few times because uh, it definitely was a catchy tune. When it comes to the negatives of Blind Witness, I thought the way the way they reveal the identity of the, ki the killer and overall the identity of the killer itself, I thought just the Korean version had a better build up to it. I didn't think it was as built up as well as it could have been. I felt like the identity of the killer was kind of pulled out you know, at the, in the third act, like, it, there was no, like, kind of hints or anything to it. And also, there is something that happens to one of the minor supporting characters in the story. This the, this particular character had a, a different fate in the Korean version. And I felt like, I don't know, it, it, the way they treated it in the Japanese remake, it didn't have the same amount of impact. It was like, oh, okay, take the easy way out. So I don't want to tell who that character is, but if you guys have seen the Korean version, then you see this and you guys might have uh, the same kind of opinion I do. But overall, what to have to say about Blind Witness, I enjoyed it, you know, uh, I enjoyed it. As a remake, it was, it was good. Like it had a few surprises and twists that made it a little bit different from the original Korean version, despite having the same exact general flow of story. You know, as I mentioned earlier, the level of violence, the, the, who the, who the killer was, his MO, his methods, and overall the chemistry between the two lead characters, I thought were much different and a little bit better in the Japanese version. Although I felt like as a thriller, the Korean version still had a lot more impact as far as its suspense, the overall impact and payoff. Like I felt like the Korean version had, was very much stronger in regards to that. But overall, do I recommend Blind Witness to watch? Yeah, I definitely recommend definitely recommend whether or not you have seen the original Korean version. I think there's still a lot to be enjoyed about Blind Witness. But anyways, yes, those are my thoughts on Blind Witness. What did you guys think? What kind of questions did you guys have? Let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, let me know what is your favorite Japanese thriller. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to all my patrons over at Patreon for helping keep this channel alive. And if you guys want to talk to me directly, please know you can hit me up on all the social media channels which I'm available on. You'll find the links in the description area below. And yeah, that's a bit it for me guys. And those are those everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to catch y'all again in the next video. Take it easy.